Hi everyone, Lisa Kelly here and welcome back to the next segment of our five in five series. So today we're going to look at five tips for hosting dynamic employee wellness days. But before I do that, I want to bring to your attention our new free workplace wellness boot camp that we'll be offering from October 19th to 23rd. And we're going to kick off this boot camp with a webinar and it's going to be highly interactive with breakout groups and everything. So that's going to be on Wednesday, October 14th at 7 p.m. And we'll be putting the replay of that webinar in the boot camp um, program itself which will be hosted in Ruzuku e-learning platform. So it'll be a great opportunity for you to get to experience that platform for maybe offering your own wellness programs to clients or workplaces down the road. So in this boot camp, we're going to talk about additional strategies, you know, that we're going to mention here today for hosting employee wellness days, as well as look at other strategies for delivering lunch and learns and boot camps and campaigns and retreats. So it's going to be so info packed. There's going to be skills labs and you really want to participate and it, you can drop in and participate in the boot camp anytime during the week. Okay, so let's get going. So today we're talking about, as I mentioned, how to connect, engage and boost well being of employees through employee wellness days. And I interviewed one of our graduates of our certification programs, Rebecca Colsty, I guess probably last year sometime. And since then, she's hosted two employee wellness days with their Nova Scotia municipality, where she works as their wellness coordinator. And one thing that really has helped her, and I always promote this in our programs, is to engage the services of wellness champions. And to do that, of course, you need to have a wellness champion program set up to begin with. And of course, we talk about how to do that in our certification programs. So tip number one is always do what you can to get leaders involved. So really, you know, getting their support is imperative number one for successful employee wellness days. And as you've seen here on the right, Rebecca was very crafty in getting testimonials, video testimonials by several um, of their municipality leaders. And in this case, it was the mayor of the town of Annapolis Royal in Nova Scotia. And you can check out that presentation by him, the short little presentation in our PDF that's accompanying this video segment. As well, you want to think about promotional strategies. So like a proclamation day is a great way to kick off. And so in this case, she had the premier of Nova Scotia sign the, de the declaration, the proclamation. And you also might want to think about having like the CEO maybe do it in certain cases, um, you know, which might be more appropriate than say the premier of a province, but also and get your CEO and senior leaders engaged in events like a kickoff event or a ribbon cutting ceremony. And you can do all this virtually as well. And we'll talk more about that in our boot camp. And tip three is to certainly form a wellness day committee. There's a lot of work that goes into the planning and preparation and hosting of employee wellness days. And so you would be well advised to get community committee members such as workplace wellness, you know, leader or the consultant, if there's a consultant or concierge organizing the, the day, as well as, as I mentioned, middle to senior level managers, certainly your wellness champions, and then representatives from your HR benefits, your PR marketing departments, certainly get a unionized rep if you have a union organization, and of course, get some support staff. So the, the broader base of support and input you can get will make for a much more uh, inclusive and robust wellness day. So you want to look at about members of committee of about 10 to 12 members where possible. Now tip four is to certainly have a really solid agenda. Now one of the best ways to prepare an agenda is to of course ask your employees for ideas and you may want to do that through a focus group um, some short surveys or even a contest would be a fun way to, you know, name that wellness day theme and get some ideas. And of course, you want to promote, promote, promote your wellness day, right? All employees should know about it. 
And you should really impress upon them in your promotions the value, the promise, and the transformation of them giving up their time to participate in any of the Wellness Day events. And you certainly might want to post a, um, a page or a brochure or even create a special website page as Rebecca did. And they hosted it, I believe, in their uh, website for their municipalities. And that will be a great like one-stop Wellness Day repository, as I've mentioned here, for them to learn about the events and certainly to sign up. Okay, so all this information is going to be um, provided through an article that I um, prepared featuring Rebecca's interview with me. And as well, as I mentioned, we'll have a lot more details around how to plan and coordinate wellness days and get a lot of interactive ideas around that in our boot camp um, that's happening next week. Okay. So on that note, yes, our boot camp is from October 19th to the 23rd. And we encourage you to sign up today so that you can get all the information and how to log into the boot camp and the well, the webinar, the kickoff webinar, which is happening next week, a few days prior to the launch of the boot camp. As well, for those who are watching this video today on October 7th, tomorrow, is the last day to get our workplace wellness or launch into workplace wellness intro course. Now it's an intro course, but it's certainly will be of value, high value to anyone in corporate wellness because we offer a lot of in-depth resources and toolkits, um, interactive discussions, help and support from myself. And it is just a phenomenal course for $97 and certainly is a good lead in to our certification program. So be sure to check it out the sale ends again tomorrow at um, October 8th. Okay, that's it, everyone. Have a great day and certainly download our PDF and be watching for future episodes. Bye for now.